Morning lads, how you doing? Welcome back to Baggy TV. Welcome back to my channel. What a result yesterday. 4-1, great result, great performance. And lads, that was a good way to end this portion of the season so far. A good run of wins. Unfortunately, not a clean sheet, but we're doing good and we're looking strong. But there was one issue. There was one factor that I wasn't happy to see in the game yesterday. I don't want to talk about it in my match review because I didn't want to give any negativity to that video. I didn't want to put any shade on a pretty decent performance and a pretty decent result. But in today's video, I'm going to address the issue. I'm going to criticize in this video. But before I start criticizing, lads, I want to ask you to do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and turn that bell notification button on like comment and share my video now let's start criticizing okay lads when i'm saying criticizing it's it's a legitimate thing lads it's a legitimate thing and it wasn't just me who picked up on it every single chelsea fan picked up on it especially in the game yesterday and that was timo werner playing on the left wing lads what a waste of a brilliant striker what a waste of talent what a waste of money why is timo werner playing on that left wing lads yesterday we can see the man suffering we can see the man not playing well i mean even mason mount had to go up into that position up into the left wing to cover for the man because he was leaving gaps timo Werner wasn't comfortable on the wing yesterday and we can see that as clear as day timo Werner missing sitters that's not that's not what we know about timo Werner, lads he missed a couple of sitters his whole body language, his, all, his whole demeanor, bent out of shape. Why? Why is Timo Werner filling in for Pulisic? Why isn't Callum playing in that position? Why isn't Callum hassan playing as our left winger? Do you guys remember? Do you guys know who Callum hassan is? Do you? Because um, if we go back two seasons, you know, we're not going back way, way back. We're going back two seasons. When Sarri was in charge of Chelsea, when Bayern Munich was knocking on the door and asking us, um, can't speak German, but basically, can we have Callum? Would you guys be willing to sell Callum to Bayern Munich? And what did we say? We said, nine, nine. Callum has a good future, has a big future at Chelsea Football Club. Callum is a talented player and Callum is staying. Sorry, didn't play him all that much. The fans started asking for it. We started talking about it. Social media exploded. In the stadiums. Yeah, we were allowed in the stadiums back in those days. We were calling out for the man to be played. And guess what? Sari played him. Sari gave Callum a chance. And Callum showed what he's all about. Especially in the Europa League. Callum impressed. And then what happened? Lampard came along. And Callum's contract needed to be extended. And Callum wasn't prepared to do it with Sari extend the contract but when he sat down with uh, with Lampard and Lampard started blagging it Callum believed him Callum believed him and Callum signed a contract with Chelsea Football Club and that was that that was that he was promised more playing time he was promised a future at Chelsea and lads with all due respect, 
we're not fulfilling those promises. We are not giving Callum the opportunities that he deserves. If Pulisic was fit and Callum was benched, I can understand it. Pulisic isn't fit and Callum is still benched. We're playing a striker as a left winger and Callum is benched. Laz, up until a couple of weeks ago, Bayern Munich was still openly talking about we want Callum, loan him, give him, give us Callum and we'll buy him off you next season. 72 million pounds or something of that nature. Search it, Google it, you'll find it. There's a lot of articles talking about it. We didn't sell him. Why didn't we sell him? Because apparently we know this is a talented player that has a lot of potential for the future of Chelsea. Laz, I want to show you something. I want to show you a little clip of an interview that Callum had with, I think it was ESPN, two months ago. When they were talking about playing time, opportunities to play for Chelsea. Watch this clip. It's obviously more competition places for you as well. Is that, is that, do you just sort of have to accept that that's kind of life at a top club? You know, the clubs just do that, don't they? Year on year, they always look to improve. I think that's like every club. I think every any club that you go to, you have the same thing. I think every team has competition. Every player in every position has competition. You want to be the player that's starting every game and want to be playing every game. So you've got to prove that you should be playing every game. I think that it doesn't really matter if you've been bought or you're at the club already or whatever it is. I think you always got to fight for your position and show the manager and your teammates and whoever, the fans, why you should be playing every game and keep proving and proving every day. So I think that for me, competitions everywhere you've got to keep playing well and keep hopefully showing the manager why you should be playing okay so if you want to see the full interview i'm going to leave a link to it in my end screen so you can watch that full interview um in my end screen now did you hear what he had to say did you hear what callum had to say callum understands there is a challenge there is competition to be playing for chelsea this season he understands that there is talented players who have come into the club, to the team, and he's even competing with them. So that's fine, that's fine. But how do you expect him to behave and to react to the fact that the person he's competing with is sidelined for, because of an injury, and yet he still can't get on that pitch? What is he expected to do? Lads, Callum hudson Adoy has been disciplined he has been training hard okay i'll get back to the discipline bit in a minute he has been training hard and he has been giving it all he can to play disciplined he has been disciplined in comparison to his age to his experience and to the situation he's in yes he's had his uh, odd misbehavior I mean, he hasn't topped anyone in Greece recently, but he's had his ups and downs. But generally, he's a good lad. And yet, he still can't get on that pitch. So, sell him. Lampard, Chelsea, sell Callum hudson Adoy, Or loan him. Give him an opportunity to go and do what he can do. Give him an opportunity to go and prove himself. Because we're not doing that for the man. And Callum hudson in my opinion, is just as good, if not better, than Jadon Sancho. Yeah, I said that. You disagree with me, right? Jadon Sancho has had a lot more playing time, and he has been given more confidence by his manager, by his club, to shine. What have we done for Callum? And what do we expect from Callum if we haven't even given him those opportunities? We haven't even given him that confidence. What do we expect from the man when we haven't even given him the opportunity to play when the player he's in direct competition with is injured? So lads, that's what I have to say about this topic. That's what I have to say about this topic. I want to know what you guys think about this topic. And lads, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to see Timo Werner playing our position because um, we, we just got mounts back to the center of the park. We just managed to convince 
And I'm gonna say we convinced him. I don't know if we convinced him, but but Frank Lampard has seen the errors of his ways. Play him mount on the wing. Now, how many more games does he does he need before he sees the errors of his ways? Playing Werner on the wing. So I'm not happy about Callum not being offered the chance to play, and I wanted to share it with you in this video. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos talking about issues that surround Chelsea Football Club, and I'm asking you in the comments below to tell me of any issues you want me to address and uh, don't just put the name of the issue like I don't know medical staff or um, I don't know uh, training regimes diets whatnot don't just say that give me some background to exactly what it is your point of view is in respect to the subject and I will do my best to address it in one of my videos because for the next couple of weeks, international break, I'm gonna be trying to go into topics that are a little bit more different. And it's really down to you to suggest to me the topics you want me to um, talk about. So here is a link to a couple of videos. One of them is the uh, full interview for Callum hassan -Odoi. Give him a watch and enjoy him. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out.